Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dragos and you're watching Romania Dual Sport. As you know, I sold my R1250GS for the KTM 890 Adventure R. There were many things really, really nice on the BMW, but the nicest thing was the latest addition that I had in terms of navigation with the Carpe Eater uh, tablet and the, the drive mode dashboard software uh, which for me were impeccable, incredible. So I need something to navigate as well with the KTM and I think I found the perfect system for this motorcycle as well. So please stay with me. Well, the Carpe Ite Eater tablet was fantastic. As a hardware piece, um, it was waterproof, shockproof, vibration proof. It had a great illumination and the power was coming from two sides, uh, from two locations, from the pin on the back and one from a special M8 cable, which prevented it for, from snapping. And I really liked that system. And the software, drive mode dashboard, Really incredible, absolutely incredible. 2023 was a beast of a year for them. Basically every week they pushed a new software update where they fixed bugs, where they improved things. And I really liked their off-road map and the features. For my KTM, I chose something similar. It is a device approved by Torque Racing, which is the company who is selling and producing the software. And I like to call it the baby carpet eater, but in fact, it is something else. In fact, it's a special phone. And let me show it to you. Now this is basically an Android 12 phone, but it's not a regular phone. You cannot buy it if you look for it online. Of course, except from the Torque Racing site. It's a 5.5 inch phone. Uh, the name is really strange. You have to look uh, on the Torque Racing uh, website because it's something like DMT878 or something. I'll write it here. But why is this Android 12 phone special or more special from other Android uh, devices? Well, first of all, is the same like the carpet eater, is waterproof, shockproof, dustproof, vibration proof. It has a camera, but this camera has no uh, stabilization, so you have nothing to break on it. And in fact, it takes really nice still pictures. The power of the phone comes from the back, from a pin system. Um, and it has a great illumination with 1000 nits. Uh, it comes pre-installed really basic uh, with a clean Android, but with the DMD2 app, with a lifetime subscription and with free updates and with free maps for all Europe. And basically is the same, almost the same like the Carpe Eater, but in a shape of a phone. It has a SIM tray and it has also an S micro SD card for you to store your GPX tracks, your photos or whatever information that you need. Uh, you can store it like you would on any other phone. So uh, I have in fact uh, installed an internet um, card on it and I have internet 4G internet connection every time. So basically, when I'm riding, I'm riding online. I can ride with the Google Maps. I can use my favorite, one of my favorite navigation, street navigation apps, which is Waze, because I can real see, uh, see in real time the traffic, the police, uh, the traffic jams, the um, routes, uh, alternative routes to my destination. And it has another very, very nice uh, feature and advantage over 
a classic navigation device like for example my Garmin Zumo XT which I still have mounted on my Honda and that is the fact that you are inside of a telecommunication system you're inside of a, a media system you have YouTube you have Facebook you have Instagram your friends can share location for example if you want to meet with a friend and you're on your motorcycle and you request for, for, for him to give you a location. If you don't have this type of navigation and you have the Zumo, for example, they will send you their location on your personal phone and then you will have to take your phone, you have to input the, that address if it is an address, if it is not, you have to input the coordinate, GPS coordinates into the Zumo and then navigate uh, there that is not okay here you have your whatsapp they send you their location and you just press navigate with google maps or with your favorite app and you're there i want to come closer to you to show you a little bit how it is constructed because it's a really really nice and rugged phone and it has this interesting feature with the magnetic back well it looks like this it's a really nice phone let me unlock it for you. It's a very nice basic Android phone. And on the back here, as you can see on this part, this is the, these are the pins uh, from which, from where the phone receive the um, power from the motorcycle. Uh, but we will speak about hardware uh, when I'm gonna show it to you on the motorcycle and how I chose to install it. But it looks like this. It's very rugged, it has this metallic um, side and metallic case which is embedded into the phone. Basically you cannot take it out uh, and also this um, uh, power system, you cannot take it out, it's part of the phone. Now let's go on the motorcycle and show. Uh, let me show you how did I install it and to give you some tips if you, wanna might, if you might want to buy this type of phone. For the mounting system, I chose to manufacture one from aluminium. This is the one. You cannot buy it from anywhere. This is I. I just basically designed it and produced it uh, on my job. And on top of it, I came with this connector, which is provided to you by Torque Racing when you're buying the system, the more the phone. And it has, as I mentioned before, it uh, the telephone has a magnetic back and also um, the, the connection, the connector has a metallic back. So when you connect it, it will snap on very, very sturdy. Plus the back of the um, phone has these slots which correspond to these pins on the connector. Take a look how you mount it. That's it. Very easy, snaps on snaps off by pushing by pressing the two uh, sliders and you can take it with you whatever whenever you want the connector which comes comes inside the package has a very basic and simple connection instruction basically you have to connect the plus and minus wire to the accessory port of the motorcycle which is located inside the headlight um, compartment it is very, very hard to do because uh, the connector has a module, a module that is calculating your um, power uh, voltage. And if the motorcycle does not have sufficient power voltage, it will not power up the phone. This is the way to prevent uh, the battery drain. So that power uh, module that... Um, it's a small computer like this, like uh, 10 centimeters by 2 centimeters, and it is very, very hard to put it in. But after long tries and several tries, I found a way to uh, put it inside and to, to fit it inside. Uh, but just for you to be aware that as it is, the KTM 890 has limited space here inside the headlight compartment. Uh, with this one, you will have uh, a problem when you try to install it. But it's very simple, 
plus and minus uh, wires and that's it you are connected and you will have power on the phone as soon as you turn uh, the key and turn the motorcycle on now if you will remove your seat and then remove the orange cover of the battery here on the left side when you're gonna look towards the front of the motorcycle you will find a tiny one centimeter space from which you can put or you can insert a wire because you need to wire something else because this system has one more surprise guys this system for for my motorcycle i bought also the controller a very nice three button and one uh, joystick dial controller uh, which I will use to navigate on the navigation app and on the roadbook app which by the way the roadbook rally will come very very soon uh, in one week I will go for the roadbook rally and I will use first time this system this controller it's very very simple to install you have to uh, route your cables on the uh, cables of the motorcycle and then connect it with the wire that I just said that you have to insert from the battery side and then you pull it through connect it to the battery and that's it the connection with the phone is via Bluetooth and it is very easy and a straightforward process um, <laughs> it cannot get greater than that now I want to come back a little bit to the software side of the system the DMD2 app and specifically the off-road map navigation finally I found a system and the program that has a feature I was looking for many years and none of them had believe me I've tried many let me explain to you what is a GPX track what is a track a track is just a line on top of the map a line on the planet nothing more you cannot do anything with it you just have to position yourself on that line and follow the line the curves the turns but you have no turn-by-turn uh, -turn navigation on that line more than this imagine that you are on the track it is I don't know five o'clock in the evening you know where you want to go but you don't know how much is from your position uh, until that point how much distance and what's the average speed that you're gonna have on the track and the time that you're gonna uh, uh, make reaching that point because you wanna make a decision whether to camp whether to continue turn back or any other type of decision now the DMD2 software can calculate the position and the distance from you until a specific point on the GPX track and can give you all the information that you need uh, how much time you're gonna um, spend reaching that point uh, what's because it calculates your average speed it will it will tell you the hour that it, you're gonna reach it how much uh, distance is from the beginning of the GPX track until that point the beginning of the GPX trap track until your position it has a plethora of information nothing but goodness and useful information for me this is priceless I was always looking for something like this uh, in a software and it finally happened with DMD2 app and I'm sure they will not stop here they will not stop uh, innovating because they are riders they uh, test it on real track on real riding situation adventure riding with their friend and then they're gonna update it to the needs that any adventure rider would have guys for me this is the perfect navigation system for the KTM 890 Adventure R I really really enjoyed it I will test it properly for my um, roadbook rally coming on the 29th of June so if you want to see that adventure and 
how easy you can navigate using an electronic system with a roadbook, please be sure to follow. I really missed the carpet eater system that I had on my BMW. And by the way, if you're a BMW owner, be sure to check this video because you will have there all the details of the installation of the carpet eater tablet for the BMW. Until next time, ride safe and um, enjoy the model season. Ciao.